Hi, a number of you missed class on Thursday when we looked at Fathom and so I'm trying some new software to see if I can um, teach you how to use Fathom via a um, little bit of a video recording. Okay, so if you were to log on to one of the school computers there is some um, statistics software called Fathom. Okay, and we're going to open that up which is what we did on Thursday, and we're going to use it. Okay, you can see down here, Fathom is a yellow ball, and there's a little histogram in the middle of it. We're going to double click on that. We're going to open up Fathom. I'm going to just click here so that I make Fathom big. And again, Fathom is a statistical software package, so it's very convenient for entering data and creating uh, graphs and, and statistical statistics. I'm going to start by dragging this icon called collection down into my screen, into my page here. Okay. If I put a table on top of it, okay, it's going to let me enter some data. Okay. I'm going to name this data. I'm just going to call it numbers. Okay, so I'm going to click there and I'm going to say numbers. Okay. And then I can either enter my data manually which I'm going to show you how to do now, or I can copy and paste some data or import some data into Fathom if I have a larger data collection. So I'm just going to make up some data and I'm going to enter it in here. Okay. And I'm just typing and hitting enter between each number. So I entered a data set with 10 numbers. I can make this box here. I can pull it down and make it a little bigger so I can see my whole data set. Okay, with really large data sets, it's not, I don't necessarily need to see it all. Right. So I can enter data manually into Fathom, or I can import data into Fathom. And what I'm going to show you now is um, the, the activity that we worked on in class. I stored some data out on the class web page. Okay, and I'm going to go and find that now. So this is our home page, our math and science home page for Barbara and Chris. And I'm going to come over here under contents for, and I'm going to open up the resources for the Fathom activity. There was a data set that I created for this activity and I stored a, about 40 data items about um, income for Cityville. This is um, family income for 40 different families. I think it's about 40 families that um, uh, in, a, in a town called Cityville. Okay. We're going to, instead of typing all this data into Fathom, we're going to come out here to this Excel spreadsheet and I'm going to grab this income data. And I'm going to highlight it. I took the, the title income okay, and I'm going to highlight all the data elements and that first value there, income. And I'm going to say Control copy. Okay, you can right click and choose copy. Or okay, I'm going to come back into Fathom. Okay, I'm going to delete this data set because I want to start over. Right. So I'm going to drag a collection again down here. Okay, and in this case, I'm going to right click on that collection. Oops, maybe not. Okay, I right click on that collection and I have this option, paste cases. I'm going to choose that. And it's going to take that data that I highlighted and it's going to put it into this data collection. I want to be able to see the data. So again, I'm going to, while this collection is highlighted, you can see that it's outlined in blue. I'm going to grab a table icon and I'm going to drag it on top of it. Okay. And it's going to show me that data that I copied in. And it's nice. I copied in that header and it brought that in too. So it specifies that this is income data right there. Okay. I don't need to see all 40 data items, but if I wanted to see more, I could drag this box up and down to see more data items or fewer data items. What we're going to do is we're going to analyze the data that we just imported. And we're going to do that using graphs and summary statistics. First thing I want to do is I want to create a histogram. I'm going to grab this graph icon from the top and I'm going to 
bring it over and I'm going to drop it into my page. Okay, can move it around. Okay, can make it bigger or smaller if I wanted to. It's going to say, I need to tell this graph, what do I want to graph? And it says drop an attribute here. I'm going to come over to my data collection and I'm going to grab income. And I'm going to drag it over and drop it here. And it's going to create a graph for me. It's going to default to a dot plot, but I'm going to come over here and I'm going to choose histogram. And it will create a histogram for me. And I can accept the bin size that it creates for me, or I can change my bin size. I can do that by grabbing an edge of a bar here, and I can make it bigger bins okay, or smaller bins. Okay. I can also choose my bin size and choose some characteristics of my histogram by double clicking in the white space here in my histogram. Okay. And it's going to give me some options. A lot of these options you saw on your calculator as you've been using your calculator. I'm going to change my bin width here, and I'm going to make it 10000 okay? Buckets of $10,000 worth of income. I'm going to hit Enter, and that can also change my histogram. Okay. All right, so we've been making histograms in class as one way to analyze the data that we have. We've also been making box plots. And I want to see both a histogram and a box plot. I'm going to grab my graph icon again, and I'm going to drag it down. I'm going to create a box plot. Okay. Again, I need to tell it what data I want to be working with. I'm going to grab this attribute, income. Oops. I'm here. Let me click outside. Okay. And I'm going to drag it down here. Again, it defaults to a dot plot, but I'm going to change it to a box plot. And I get a nice box plot there. And unlike your calculator, the x-axis is not going to line up between my histogram and my box plot. And I want a nice lined up um, x-axis. So here I've got a nice alignment. I've got the starting point of zero here. But here I don't have the same um, alignment on the x-axis. So I can change my x-axis and I can do that by um, positioning my cursor over it, and I'll get this little hand sign. When I do that, I'm going to click on my um, mouse. I'm going to left click on my mouse, and I'm going to drag this axis. I can bring it in. I can drag it in, showing more of the x-axis, or I can bring it out. I want to drag it in because I want to have the same axis as I have for my histogram above. And that looks pretty close. That looks nice. So now I've got a nice alignment here. I'm going to actually just drag this graph, the end point of my graph, in a tiny bit. And let me just tweak that axis a tiny bit. It looks pretty close. So now I've got a nice alignment between my histogram and my box plot. I also want to name this data. It's called Collection 1, but I'm going to come up here and I'm going to name it. This is Cityville, whoops, incomes, income data. Okay, I'm going to click OK, and it puts that title not only on my data over here, but also on anything I create using that data. So I have a nice histogram, a nice box plot. Very quickly, I was able to create those. Finally, I'm going to create some summary statistics. I'm going to drag the summary box down over here. Again, it's asking me to drop an attribute. I'm going to come over and grab income, and I'm going to drop that in here. Let's make this a little bit bigger. I'm going to right click on this box, and I'm going to add basic statistics. I'm going to right click again and add the five number summary. Okay, so this gives me all of my statistics right here, and this is a decode to what those statistics are. I've got the mean right up here, 52,870. We're dealing with income, so that's an income amount. This tells me how many data elements I have. We polled 40 families in Cityville, and we have income for those 40 families. 
And I'm going to skip these. We're going to get into more detail about what we mean by standard deviation and standard error. Um, and I'm going to focus on, we did the five number summary. Okay. Here I have my min, okay, right here, my first quartile, my median, my third quartile, and my maximum values. Those were the five numbers I needed to create my box plot. So I've very quickly be, been able to take um, a data set, and I've been able to do, create some nice visuals here and some nice summary statistics. I'm now going to copy those statistics into a document. All right, I want to use those to um, plop them into a Word document. As I would with a PAL, I'm going to start talking about them. So if we go back to the website, okay. Oops, there's my Parker website. Let's see. There's a template here for the Fathom activity. This is a Word template. I'm going to open that up. And I'm going to toggle back and forth between Fathom and this Word document. Okay. Um, and I'm going to be pasting my nice visuals into this document so that I can talk about them. Let's go into Fathom. I'm going to start. I'm going to grab my histogram. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to say Edit, Copy as Picture. I'm going to come into that Word document. I'm going to paste that. Okay, I'm going to I can right click and paste it. That's an easy way to do it. I can do control V, which will get me a paste. Okay, I'm going to toggle back over to Fathom. Do the same thing for my box plot. I'm going to highlight it. Copy as picture. Come over to Word. And I'm going to paste that in. Okay. Finally, I'm going to come to Fathom. Okay. I'm going to grab my Summary statistics. I'm going to make this a little smaller here so it doesn't use up any unneeded space in my Word document. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to come over here into Word and I'm going to paste it. Just a little trick in Word. I don't like the way this looks. I'm going to right click on this. Okay, actually, let's see. I can do this. Um, I'm going to format my picture. I'm going to choose layout. I'm going to make it tight. Okay. What that lets me do with this income data is move it around within Word. I didn't like the way it was flush up against my um, my histogram and my box plot. So I'm just going to I can move it around now. It gives me some options. So I'm going to put it up here. Okay. And I'm going to tidy up my Word document. I've got a lot of carriage returns that I can get rid of. Okay. And this is the area. I'm going to move this guy back down here. Um, you're going to do your analysis. So now you've got some good visuals and you're going to come in and you're going to discuss what story does that data tell you. Okay, and again, here's some information to help you tell that story. You want to talk about its shape. Okay, the spread of the data. Here's the majority of the data. So again, read through this. And um, you can handwrite in or you can type in what story that data tells you. Okay. So I hope this has been a helpful video to teach you a little bit about Fathom and how to create great visuals and paste those in.